Hi, I'm Heidi Bronover, co-owner at Bikram Yoga North Shore. I'm going to take you through some exercises today to help keep your breath calm and your mind still as you go through your daily life. Come join us at the studio any day of the week to practice yoga in our hot room. So much of your mental focus has to do with your breath. We're going to begin with a breathing exercise. I'm looking straight ahead, feet together, my toes and heels touching. I've picked out one spot on the wall to focus. Interlock my 10 fingers and I'll bring them underneath my chin. Thumbs are back with my throat, looking straight ahead. Now I'm standing up nice and straight with my weight in my heels. My legs feel strong. I'm even squeezing my seat. And begin. Inhale, bring your chin down and elbows up. Suck your stomach in to fill your lungs, full lungs. Exhale, pushing my chin back, knuckles against the chin. My palms touch first, then the wrists, then the forearms are going to touch. My elbows touch at the end. Inhale, bring bringing my chin down and my elbows up. I've got that one point of focus straight ahead in the wall. Again, letting nothing come in my way. Exhale, look back. I'm exhaling all the air out of my lungs and just forgetting about anything else in my day. Being present, hips forward and elbows touch. Inhale, chin down and stomach in. Sucking my stomach in. I can feel that my ribs are trying to expand so I can take in more oxygenated air. Exhale, look back. I'm gonna do one more breath on this one. And elbows are going to touch out in front of me. Last one, inhale. Now, my last one, I'm going to try to make it a really great breath. You can do more breaths at home, but when you get your full lungs, hold it. Exhale, look back. Looking back behind me. Palms touch, wrists touch, forearms touch, and elbows touch at the end. Then bring your arms down to your sides and practice perfect stillness. So I found that one spot straight ahead again. Breathing normally through my nose now. Next, we're going to do half moon pose. My feet are together. I'll bring my arms over my head and interlock my fingers, release my index fingers, thumbs crossed. Before I do anything, I'm going to stretch up out of the waist, hips forward, looking straight ahead, one point of focus. I'll take one more deep breath and hold it. I'm going to stretch up out of my waist and then slowly bend my body to the right. Lifting up on my kneecaps without bending my elbows or knees. I'll push my hips to the left, so I'm getting a nice stretch on the left side of the body. Now notice I'm still looking straight ahead. Nothing is more important right now than pushing my hips to the left and stretching my fingertips towards that back corner. Before I come up, I'm going to come down and push, get a little bit more stretch, and then I'll inhale and come up again. Before I go further, push your hips forward, bring my arms back. Inhale, breathing, and stretch up, reach for the ceiling, slowly bending my body to the left. Still looking straight ahead. The moment I look down, it's going to change the stretch in my spine, and I'm trying to open up the right side of my spine right now. Don't forget that the spine is an information highway connecting the mind to the rest of the body, so it's very important to keep the spine healthy. We're going to push my hips more to the right and come down and push. Inhale, breathing, coming up and lifting up as I come up and arms down to my sides. All right, now we're going to bring it down to the floor to do some spine strengthening. So lie down on your stomach for Cobra Pose. Put, I'm going to put my arms underneath my shoulders. My fingertips are lining up at the top of my shoulders and the little fingers are in line with my deltoids. If you were standing over me right now, you would not be able to see my hands. Then I'll squeeze my legs together, heels touching, legs are tight. I'm going to even squeeze the seat, bring my elbows in with my body and drop my shoulders down. Look at my chin, see how it's nice and forward on the mat. Inhale, breathing, and now lift your upper body up, come up. Notice I'm looking all the way up towards the ceiling and still squeezing my legs together, still squeezing the seat. Then I'm going to stretch my elbows down towards my hips and my shoulders can come down. I should feel a lot of compression in my lower back right now. I'm going to look up and then hold it. And then exhale and come down. Now after a posture like this, you want to turn your head. In this case, I'm going to turn my head to the right and put my left ear on the tall arms at the sides. And my job right now is to be totally still and relax. For about 20 seconds, you want to just be still so the circulation can return to the lower back. It's the area that we were just compressing. Now at home, you can do this 
more than one time. Two times would be great to get a little bit more compression, but we're gonna keep going right now into full locust pose. I'll bring my chin forward and stretch my arms out to the sides, way out to the sides. My arms, you'll see, are just perpendicular with my body. And then I've gotta get my legs nice and tight once again so we can really get into the spine and improving the circulation around the spine. Heels together and pointed toes. I'll take a deep breath and look up and lift my arms, body, and head, legs, everything lift up off the floor. You're gonna feel like you're soaring through the air at this point. Chest up, be sure to look further back behind you. I'm reaching my eyes as far as I can because I know where my eyes go, the body is gonna follow. Lift up and then come up one more time and then come down. This time, look to your left and put your right ear on the towel and relax and breathe. You can see that I'm not really looking at anything in particular right now. What's most important is just that my eyes are not moving. And I'm getting nice, slow inhales and exhales, calming the nervous system down without distraction. When we're perfectly still, our bodies can start to take care of themselves on their own. We just let that stillness occur. Now let's continue with additional spine stretching. I'm going to come up to my knees for a half tortoise pose. So go ahead and sit down with your knees together and feet together and hips on your heels. Bring your arms over your head, palms together and thumbs crossed. Chin should be just parallel to the floor. Stretch up out of the waist to make sure your elbows are locked. See how my arms are with my ears? You can see the nice definition in my arms when I stretch up. You want that. You can see my ribs too. My spine is nice and straight. That's important. Look forward now. Exhale, breathing, and slowly come down with your chin forward. Keep sucking your stomach and Try not to get any kind of bend in the spine. This is a great exercise that you can do at home, even at the end of the day or if you're having trouble sleeping. Just the edge of my fingers, just the little fingers are on the floor and the rest of the arms in the air. See how my palms are together, thumbs crossed, and my forehead is touching the floor. I'll take a deep breath and stretch my arms forward. Palms together and thumbs crossed. Looking straight ahead once again. Take a deep breath and stretch up out of the way. See how my elbows are nice and straight. My spine is straight, looking straight ahead. Don't move your chin. Exhale, breathing, and suck your stomach in and slowly come down. The key is to keep your spine straight all the way down and stretch out of the waist as you come down. Forehead touches the floor, and then you'll see my little fingers touch even further out from my head. Just the edge of my little fingers are on the floor. The rest of the arms are in the air. Take a deep breath and stretch your arms forward. It should feel like your shoulder blades are coming out of your body. You're getting a nice even stretch. Forehead is on the floor and my nose is just slightly touching the floor. You're getting a lot of freshly oxygenated blood into the head. This is a great posture to help prevent memory loss and to help the sleep-wake cycle. Now stretch your arms forward again and then stretch your hips back down to your heels. Getting a nice even stretch, a straight stretch between the vertebrae. And then take a deep breath and I'll suck my stomach in again and watch my spine slowly coming up with my spine straight, hips on my heels. And then I'll bring my arms down to my sides. Before doing anything else, I'll just be still for one moment. Now let's turn around and lie down on our backs for Savasana. After going through this series of exercise, the very best thing you can do for your mind is to be still and teach your body to not move even when maybe you feel the need to itch or to move your eyes. Scan your body to make sure there's no tension anywhere in your body and then let the floor hold you Keep your eyes focused just on one point on the ceiling, maybe down towards your toes on the ceiling. Be still and breathe. This may be a new practice for you. If your mind starts to wander, it's okay. You can forgive yourself and then just start again. 
At home, you can do this for several minutes at a time. Do the very best you can to be still. And let this be a time for your own peace of mind, your own mental peace. And when you're ready, roll to your side and slowly come up. And you're ready to go on with your day. These exercises are exercises that you can do really at any point in the day to help reestablish mental focus and clarity and to ensure that you have strong blood circulation throughout your body. Remember, when your spine is healthy, the rest of your body can be healthy too.